In this video, I will be teaching you how to calculate the length of a line. Now, this is probably a review for you, but I will just be going over it so that you get to remember the equation, and I'll be showing you how the equation is derived so that it'll be harder for you to forget it. So the equation for the length of a line, PQ, so where P and Q are two separate points on a graph, is equal to the under root of x2 minus x1 whole squared plus y2 minus y1 whole squared. So let's say, for example, that we have any random points. So let's say this is p. That's a weird p. p, and then we have q right over here. And we want to find the length of pq. So what is the length of pq equal to? And let's also say that p has the points x1, y1, and that q has the points, yeah, x2, y2. Now in order to solve for the length of pq, we can easily just use Pythagoras theorem. If we were to make this into a right angle triangle, so this is one side, this is another side, we can call this side a, b, and c, then a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, and from this we get c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. So now all we need to do is we need to solve for b and a. Well, we already know x2 and y2 and x1 and y1, so we can easily derive a and b from that. So our value for a will be, let's say that this is, oh, a runs from here to here. Then this is, this point is x2 and this point is x1. Therefore, a can be x2 minus x1 whole squared. And then b, which runs at this length over here. So this point is equivalent to y2 and this point is equivalent to y1. Therefore, the length of this is equal to, so the length of b is equal to y2 minus y1, and then we plug this back into our equation. So this whole squared, and now we get that the root of this is equal to c, or the value of pq is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 whole squared plus y2 minus y1 whole squared. So that's simple enough. Let's say that this graph has a scale of one. So for example, this point right here is 1, 1, and this point right here, this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 2. Now all we need to do to solve for the value of pq is plug it into our equation. So pq is equal to, we have our two points, 5, 2, and 1, 1. So we get x2 minus x1, we can call this x2 and this, or this x2 and this x1. So we get 5 minus 1 whole squared plus y2 minus y1, so 2 minus 1 whole squared. And this gives us the value of the square root of 4 squared plus 1 squared is equal to pq. pq is equal to the square root of 16 plus 1, which is equal to the square root of 17. So pq would be equal to the square root of 17. 